Hello, our pre-AP math students. How are you guys today? I hope you guys are still having a good time and enjoying proportional relationships. You have Coach Groves. Miss Green. And we actually have a couple extra guest stars today. Yep, who do we have? Say your name. Haley. Logan. <laughs> Damon. Da Dimitri. Okay, so that was Haley, Damon, um, Logan. Logan, and Zentry. Guest stars. What? What? And then one who doesn't want to. One say One who his doesn't name. want to say his name. And so you'll have to guess who it was. <laughs> so we're gonna represent proportional situations with graphs today. So yesterday or the day, whatever you watched the last video was about tables. So now we're gonna be talking about graphs. Yeah. And if you don't realize this, graphs, tables, equations—they're all related. They're all gonna be the same thing. You're gonna be able to interchange between all of the different representations. You will eventually be given one representation and have to change it to a to table, others. graph, yeah. equation, everything. So our learning target today is we will represent proportional situations by using graphs. Please make sure this is written into your journal. I know what you're thinking. It was me who made the error. It was not me this time. I know. Can you guys just bear with me? Come on now. <laughs> I, I, I'm sick. Forgive me. Yeah. I think she's getting me sick. Oh, mm -hmm. well. So if you don't see us on Tuesday or Wednesday or whenever you watch this, you'll know why. It's Miss Green's fault. Mm -hmm. um, so one of the important things about graphing a proportional relationship the line on the graph is always going to intersect the origin of the graph, which is 0, 0. So if you have a graph, we're going to put, we're going to totally put a little graph in here. If you have a graph, the origin is right here. This is 0, 0. It will always go straight through that. That's not a straight line, I know. I'm sorry. It's as straight as it's going to be. <laughs> so you're gonna, your graph will always go through the origin, and that's because it's proportional. This is how you know you have a proportional relationship. Can it go this way? Whoops. <laughs> hey, mine was straighter than that. I was far away. <laughs> but can it go that way and still be proportional? Yes, it can. It can. As Most long definitely. as it goes through the origin. That's right. Okay, awesome. If it doesn't, it's just a linear relationship. We'll talk about that more in a few weeks. Um, so now we have a table. Um, your weight on Earth is six times as what your weight on the moon is. I know we all want to go to the moon now and weigh ourselves on the moon. I think it's just us. Okay, maybe it's just us. <laughs> but, <laughs> yes. So if your weight on Earth is six pounds, your weight on the moon is going to be a pound. How about we say if your puppy... If your puppy weighs six pounds. That's a little more realistic. I, I don't think any of us weigh six pounds in our classes. I think maybe at one point some of them might have. Maybe. When they were born. Okay, so when you were a baby and you weighed six pounds on Earth, had you been born on the moon, you would have only weighed one pound. That's, that's pretty small. Um, so one thing you're going to notice, think about this. On Earth, if your weight was zero pounds, what would your weight be on the moon? Zero, and that's what we talked about. You need to make sure that if you don't have zero, oh, whoop, whoop. if we don't have zero, we need to make sure we fit it in somewhere. And this is not an error. This is how you're going to see your tables. Yes. You have to be responsible enough to go back in there and add in your zero somewhere. That way you can tell if it is a proportional relationship or not. Yeah. And what we've done for you on this problem is we've already created the graph for you. So what we did is this is your x value. So this is x, this is y. Six, you go over, this is your x axis, this is your y axis. You're going to go over 6, up 1. Then here we've got 12, 2. These are written as points like this. That's called an ordered pair. 6, 1, 12, 2 would be over 12, up 2. It's, I just, yeah. I just wanted to show them the... X, Y. Yeah, the X, Y relationship. So, and you got to remember this one here is X, this one here is Y. So, that's how your graph's going to look. Now, what about trying to find an equation from this, Miss Green? How would we do that? Well, first we want to look for a constant of proportionality. We talked about constant of proportionality yes. on yesterday's video. Yes. And our constant of proportionality, we had k equals what? Uh, k equals to y over x. Y over x. So you tell me I can just take this y and put it in? Yep. So in. my constant would be y, which is 1 over 6. Yep. So do I need to change that to a decimal? No, no, so, no. no. My equation would be y equals 1 6 x. Right. That's it? Yep. If, uh -huh. you, if you want to change it to a decimal, you can, but it's going to be very rare that you'll see yeah. it as a decimal. You're going to see it as a fraction because later on when we talk about slope, that 1 6 is going to be super important. Yeah, and technically this is actually the same as slope. Our constant proportionality is the same thing as slope. I'm so glad you said that so we don't confuse them later. Yes. So yeah, but you have to know the term 
constant of proportionality. proportionality. And then you're going to have to know what slope is, and they're the exact same thing. It's just that the, it's re called constant of proportionality on this because we're dealing with proportional relationships, but it is the same as your slope. So we'll talk about that more later. Let's look at this one. What does the point, or I'm sorry, we have a graph here. This is our graph. Um, we're going to look at this graph, and we're, the question, where do we have the question? Here it is. So this graph shows the relationship between a... The time and distance. Time and distance. So we a had hiker. A packs. hiker. So this is time in hours, and this is distance. Distance. Is it? <laughs> Whoa. That, did you just write a lowercase b? Yes, I did. You are getting sick. <laughs> distance in miles. Or it's Friday at the end of the day. It could be. It could be. Nearing 4 o'clock. <laughs> yes. So we've got time versus distance. So if this is a hiker, this is a hiker, and he has hiked for five hours, and he's gone, this is six miles. Right. So that's what that's stating here. We've got five for six hours. We've got 10 for 12 hours, and so on. So what does the point five six represent? Well, if we know that five is our x value, we know that it's time. Okay. So that means he has hiked for five hours. Five hours. And then the six is our y value, which is distance. So in five hours, he has hiked six miles. So he hiked six miles in five hours. Mm -hmm. Cool. So what's the equation for this? Well, what is our constant proportionality? Our k is constant proportionality. Um, we had to do what to find that? k equals y. Y over x. x. We just had this point here. What was our y value? Our y value was six. So we've got k equals six. Over five. Do I need to change that, or can I leave it at 6 over you, 5? You actually can leave it just like that. Yeah. With slope and constant of proportionality, this improper is perfectly fine. Yep. You don't have to change it to a mixed number. Leave it as an improper fraction. And again, you'll know why later. When we get to yeah. slope, once again, which is the same It'll as make more proportionality, sense. you have to have the 6 over 5. So now we have k equals 6 over 5. We have to put it into y equals kx, so y equals 6 over 5 x. And we're done. And, and we're done. I mean, that's it. We're going to talk more about this in class. We're going to graph more in class. It's going to be fun. There's your smiley face. That's upside down, Miss Green. It's not for me. Well, it was for me, so. I'm, I'm very talented because I can write my name upside down. Okay, we can, we'll finish that later. Okay. <laughs> uh, we'll have a fun time talking about this in class, and Miss Green can show you how she can write her name upside down. Peace out.